General Hampton, we just received an update on the attack at Narabai. Apparently they've retained some information that could be ruinous. General, it appears that the same group of hackers who attacked the Narabai system has the exact information they need to attack the PL computers in the East Wing. I would like you to hire these three agents to investigate. Chief Nordle, Navy SEAL, Echo Gray, previously in the Air Force, and Carrie Ford, my former secretary. Their contact information is all here. It's funny how people are like that. Excuse me, I should probably take this. No problem. Hello, is this Carrie Ford? Some very confidential information pertaining to the U.S. military and possibly the Treasury. Just a few weeks ago, this same group of hackers demolished the nearby nuclear plant by hacking the cooling system. Hello? Is this Echo Gray? Yes. Who is this? Here it is, the exact conversation. Word for word? Yes, sir, it seems like the government has I can't read it for myself. One word and I said ever get here. Hey, Mom, I finally found a new job and I'm on my way to Virginia. Right now? What's the job? It's an okay job since I didn't get that other one. What kind of job? Well, uh, we do computer stuff. I have to go. Love you. Bye. Arjunessa? Uh, why does she always have to ask? If I can't work for the government, I'll work against it. I should really find a way to help those people. I really feel like the world needs more really intelligent detectives. Which rules do you have? Actually, I have a very high IQ. A very high IQ that allows you to be late to your appointment? Oh my goodness, you are right. I have to go now. Where are my keys? So we have contacted the appropriate agents. Yes, we have. I figured private detectives would be a safer strategy than using our own team. I'm not sure what these hackers want, or even what they're up to. They are well trained, obviously. It seems that they know what they are doing. The next question, why? Excuse me, I am Mr. Guy F. Du, and I am here to devote my services to this serious cause in which our fates alike are sealed. Under these extreme circumstances, I submit my service. On this day, October 22nd, the year 2020. And don't forget accommodations. Guy, what are you doing here? Carrie Ford, welcome. And Echo Gray, good to see you both. May I introduce you to Matthew Nordle, Navy SEAL. 
Please take a seat. Now, down to business. Your job is to determine the hacker's next move and to defend this country. If we fail, these hackers will have access to very confidential information regarding large corporations, the U.S. military, and most importantly, the U.S. Treasury. If any of you feel like you are not ready to begin on this mission, you can say so right now. Otherwise, I expect you all to be here at 0600 tomorrow morning. Yes, General. Yes, General. Agent Brown, who is filling in for my secretary, she is on vacation, has the contracts for the acceptance of this mission. You can take them home and bring them back with you tomorrow. Thank you, General. And what did he say your name was? I'm Echo. This has to work. This is the last chance we have to give him what he deserves. You mean the whole government? The whole system that keeps out the most deserving of people? If we fail, we aren't going to get another chance. so early. Can you be here at 0500 instead? I got a meeting with the president at 0700. I'm on my way. The main mission today is to find out what time they will attack. Without that information, it's all over. Probably during some important transition. There are four of those throughout the security update. So it could be during any of those? Hmm. So what are the different transitions, and when do they occur? The update starts at 0000. First is a transition into the temporary code at 0600. Second is the transition into the main code, which occurs at 1200. And 1300 is when we actually start using the main code. Then the process is complete at 0000 the next day. It's from 12 to 1 p.m. They'll input the code at 12, but they don't actually start using it till 1. We have what we need. We must alert Hampton immediately. So what you're telling me is that our security is down from 1200 to 1300? Yes, General. And this bug has to be found and resolved within the next 10 hours? I'll tell them to get to work, but I don't expect them to do it in time. It has to work. If it doesn't, they'll have a whole hour to attack. Sir, we have some updates. We found the exact system to attack. Get the flash drive made and make sure the virus is working. The security has got to be good. All right, people, we've got work to do. This has to be done well. Lance, start the encryption. Melcy, get the mainframe running. Okay, I will. Huffman, you get our decryption systems up and running. Got it. Dilo, you come with me. You have something else to do. I want you to create a distraction. I'll give you the agent's information. License plates, addresses, anything I can find. You make a plan to waylay them on the day of the attack. We'll do our best. Did you finish the data mapping in LTRO's camp? Yes, General, but there were several errors we had to correct first. Start strategizing now. Yes. Okay. And the code for the mainframe is done. Everything is ready. Issue the report. You will leave for the Pentagon in an hour. Cora Black is awaiting your arrival. Dilo, the agents are on their way to the Pentagon. I need you to attack, now.
Sorry for being late, General. We were attacked on our way here. Seemed pretty random. I doubt it was. Do you think it was related to the hackers? Possibly. They probably don't want us here when they attack. It would make sense. Well, I'm glad to see you all safe. But we have some work to do. For now, if Miss Ford and Miss Gray would run a check of all the security cameras. Here at the Pentagon, I need you to make sure that Cora Black is ready to verify for me. Please scan your card. I forgot my ID. I'll have to call another worker to verify. I'm Cora Black. I can verify for her. A suspect has been sighted in Entry Hall, the East Wing. Please report suspicious activity. East Wing. Reporting suspicious activity. I've got pictures. This person took off their jacket. And this guy was talking low. And this guy was cleaning the floors a minute and 27 seconds late. I'm afraid none of these show any proof. Oh wait, I have one more. I've never seen this person before. Um wait, let me see that please. I can't believe it, but you might actually have found the person. Splendid. Okay, let me do a face scan. Suspect sighted in Hall 4.9. Cora Black wearing typical Pentagon uniform, accompanied by a female suspect. Blonde hair, black uniform. Do you see them? Yes, you see she wants. You just missed the fun. Agents, this is my secretary, Linda Thornbridge. If you would catch her up, Nordle. How's it going? I guess we have to turn these reports into Rodab now. your best. Save yourself the trouble. They're on their full guard now, and you've wasted my time and my money. Uh, let's just but wait a little. After a thorough examination, it appears that no damage was done. Thanks to our team. <laughs> the next step is to find these hackers and confine them before they can do any more damage. These hackers must be found. 
I contacted an intelligence agent, Lance Noble, so hopefully we will have some leads by tomorrow. His name is Mr. Guy F. Dude. He doesn't seem like he's helping much, and I don't see any use in having him as a contractor. He has no contract because he's not a contractor. He's my nephew. You're Lance Noble, correct? Yes, General. Wonderful. Now that you are working as our intelligence agent on this mission, any and all classified information that you receive must stay secret. They do pay me well. He's normally here when I want him, especially when it has to do with money. This opti seems awfully important to him. What if he's helping the government? It's a possibility. Detain him as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Evening, boss. Hey, listen, I have money. Huh? If you give me your phone, I'll give you a good bit of it. You think I'd be so easily convinced? No way! Well, how much do you want for it? I'll give you 200 okay. bucks per minute I spend on the phone. If I get found, I'll be fired and broke. Alright, a thousand. Alright, fine. Concentration. No repeats. Concentration. Category is colors. Hello, Lance. William. You sound awful. What is it? I need you to get a message to Andrew Hampton right away. His phone number is two five three two five six four six two three. I'm trapped in Arlington on David Street. He's been trapped. His location is the city of Arlington in Virginia on David Street. That was all I could say before he was cut off. What condition does he seem to be in? He sounded pretty weak and desperate. And who is this I'm speaking to? William Wellworth. Thank you, sir. I'll alert General Hampton immediately. Thank you, ma'am. This is the city and street where Lance lives. I'm the name of the caller. Good. Can you put the location for David Street into maps? Sure, I'm on it. I have a location. It's on David Street, 4507. Also, Carrie and I were attacked by some hackers. Carrie's in their base. I got away just in time. Well, don't come back to the Pentagon. The special forces will be there within 10 minutes. Everybody, prepare for departure. Prepare to put everything in the car, but don't get it. It might cause a disturbance. I guess they forgot to tie me up with all this hurry. Well, I guess this is it. There's no telling what they'll do to us, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's impossible to get out of here. Nothing's impossible. There has to be some way. It's no use trying. Those windows are both barred. We can't get out that way. Well, let me just look. I guess it is 
Notice what? Notice what? Hurry, they're trying to evacuate. Someone's at the door. Gilo, go see who it is. You do it. directly to the cars. I should be the one leading this country! No! No! There's no one else in there. The trial will begin sometime later at the end of the week. Well, what if, please attend. Yes, General. Sir, this is complete nonsense. He thinks because he's rich, he should be in charge of the government. Yet all have the right to a fair and speedy trial. Also, Lance, how did you happen to get trapped inside of the hacker base? Well, you see, I've been working with that group of hackers for about a year before I signed up as your intelligence agent. I figured I could get more money. This is a serious crime. Not only were you aiding the hackers, but you signed a contract saying- I never broke the contract. We all need to look into that. I sincerely hope for your sake that it can be proven correct. Sorry, Daddy, she's busy. We can tell her a message. Yeah! Well, please tell her that I will not be home until dinner time. Dinner time! Don't worry, we can still play our family game tonight. Oh, good. Love you, bye. Soon. bye. Bye. It's amazing how much money they give me. It's enough to pay for three cars and enough for Andre to go to college. I hear you help them a lot. They were good people and I did my best. Maybe you do have a very high IQ after all. Well, thank you, honey. I'm sure they are all very thankful. Of course they are. But you know, these politicians never say anything outright. Unless they don't mean it.
I want to thank the three of you for your hard work and dedication to the task set before you. You have done very well. And Mr. Guy F. Dude, please come forward. Mr. Guy F. Dude, you were not hired as a part of the team, and yet the things you were able to accomplish were just as crucial to the mission of success as anything our agents did. 